feel like we're at that part of the game where we were in Mass Effect 1, where everything kind of feels uh, like there's a lot more to do. You know, like we have a bunch of side missions, but that we're just going to knock them out within the next, you know, I don't know, few episodes. <laughs> and then we're going to be like at the end of the game. That's kind of what it feels like. I know that there's some big main missions coming up that's going to take a while to clear out. But th those will probably be the biggest episodes of Mass Effect 2. So, you know, when it comes to uh, do, getting the side quests done, I, th I, I think it's going to go pretty quick. But that's, you know, before we get those huge, huge missions uh, that are going to be like an hour or two long. I just plan on like doing the whole mission all at once. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Her little suit that we put on is very shiny. <laughs> it's got it's got quite a uh, a glossy finish to it. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Uh, that's curious. So what what happens if an exile um, has like a, a you know a partner who's not an exile? Does the the partner become an exile, or are they welcome back to the fleet? Everybody's just like you know doing the whispered thing, like oh, do you hear so and so's with the exile? Ooh, you know, oh, don't talk to them. They're unclean. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. You know, I just thought of something. I, I used the word unclean, and, and that's... um. Uh, well, it's it's a biblical term in in a lot of ways if you look back in ancient history because people in the Jewish culture who had leprosy or any other kind of like nasty ailment that they didn't really know enough about to know that it wouldn't spread to other people, um, they were considered unclean and you just wouldn't go around those people. But you know what? That actually works. I don't even know where I'm going for this cabin, by the way. I think it's on the crew quarters. Maybe it's down. No, it's not down here. It's got to be the, 
the crew quarters. Let's go to the crew quarters. Um, yeah, uh, I think that term actually works really well in a weird way for the Quarians because their whole thing is like, you know, th th they can't get sick. They, and I don't mean like they are immune to being sick. I mean like they literally can't get sick because if they do, they're going to die. They have like super bad, um, uh, you know, defenses against any kind of, of virus or anything. And because of that, I think it's really kind of an interesting thought to be like, they, they would, in many ways, adopt that concept of unclean, right? They, they would, their culture would deem people who have been out and about and maybe have come into contact with some kind of pandemic or anything like that in the galaxy, they would consider them unclean until they got, you know, checked it made sure that they weren't going to pass that along to everybody else I, I, I it was just a thought i was like oh that's actually really interesting now i don't think they've really explored that in mass effect but i think that there's room to do so and it might tell a, a pretty interesting story and obviously they could take um reference points from biblical history or from jewish history and, and stuff like that and i think that that would be kind of interesting i think it would be uh, a new way to to check out a um, or to, to flush out a story of a race such as the Quarians, which happened to be my favorite race in all of Mass Effect. She's got her flashlights on. Shepard, how are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Hmm. That's a good point. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were... I'm gonna skip because I, I missed this. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. Okay, it's fine. Trust her. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Hmm. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. She's a very interesting character. You know, she, she's got her code. She lives by her code, and honestly, you gotta, you gotta respect it. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's cool for a character in a game in an RPG to have a code and to live by it. It's, um, it's something that I think Bioware tries to do relatively well. They haven't always succeeded on stuff like that, but you know they're trying. Do I have any unread messages now? Nope. Okay, fine. We're done here. Let's go. I could talk to Edie some. But I'm going to wait on that. And, and, you know, maybe, just maybe, you guys are upset that I haven't talked to e uh, e e Edie. Edie, yes, there we go. Just brain farted there yet, but we'll, we'll get around to it. I don't think I'm going to miss out in, on any major dialogue by not talking to her yet. Okay, uh, where do we want to go? This is actually a pretty good question because we have a lot to do. We have a lot. And I don't think I need any fuel. Definitely don't need any probes because we did all of our scanning. See, like, look at all these missions. It looks like a lot, but I think that it's going to go pretty quick. Like doing Grunt and Morden, that's going to go fast. Uh, helping Thane and Garrus, that's going to go fast. Um, I could go back and talk to Liara, which is probably what I should do. I need to disable Blood Pack uh, Relay and investigate Eclipse Presence. You know what? Let's do that. So we may as well just go back to Ilium. Uh, the other ones are apparently on different planets. 
but that's fine. Let's go talk to Liara. I think by turning this in, I might be... Can I take them to go say hi to Liara? I think that'd be fun. Oh, wait, before I do. Oh, she doesn't have an alternative appearance just yet. Yeah, I think um, it's it might be kind of interesting, but I think by turning in this mission. Excuse me, my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? Who are you? I guess. It looks suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. Okay. What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is and how willing she is to correct her mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. Okay. Did I just get a bunch of money? 40 XP. And five renegade points, two paragon points, Ugh. 1500 credits. That's not bad. Actually, what are we up to? Ooh, we definitely need to go buy some stuff while I'm here. Yeah, I think by turning this mission in, we're going to unlock the Shadow Broker DLC, possibly. I don't quite remember if that's the case or not. 25. Sell at 25. Is there a terminal no, here? No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy Let's talk to Tally. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Interesting. Is that because they're like, <laughs> is this like an HOA, like a homeowners association? If you've never had an HOA, you are blessed. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, but they, you know, they, they'll make sure, like, oh, you can't. You can't, um, I don't know. You can't own a boat, like a, a boat trailer and leave it out. Like, and, 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 you know, you can't, can't leave your, your trash cans out over, you know, over the day. It, once the trash is picked up, you have to put it away. Otherwise you get fined. Like, it's always weird stuff like that. But are they being like, no, you can't have the flotilla over here. It's going to bring real estate down. Because you're kind of a just a, a giant trailer trash just floating through the sky. Is that, is that what they're trying to do? That feels like what they're trying to do. 30% biotic damage. Not a bad upgrade. I have to really consider what I want here. Because it doubles the, the limit or the time limit for bypass. Don't feel like I necessarily need that. I don't need the tech upgrade. I don't need any of these armor pieces. But if I will come back the here. Best you have, I'll make do. Let's go what talk to, to Liara first. I don't know what's going on. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? You know, I'm gonna do it. My life is too long to deal with an asymmetrical scalp. Galactic beauty solutions. Serving maiden, matron, matriarch, and you. The division of Elkhart. That was like the weirdest ad. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, how are you? So, what can I do for you? How are you? Uh, let, uh, let's get the Shadow Broker. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. <laughs> so, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. 
I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel. They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to... Oh, we just leveled up. I wasn't expecting it to already give us the Shadow Broker DLC, but we did it. We got it. Oh my goodness, I'm getting stuck on doodads. All right, there. No further intel available. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. So we did have other things we needed to do here. First, I need to go buy things. Not at this terminal, at the other terminal. There was... I believe a health upgrade or was it a shield upgrade? I don't remember which one it was, unfortunately. Either one is good for us. You know what I'm going to do real quick? Um, let's go to journal. So these are missions that are, these are like main missions, which as you could tell, like when you break it down this way, it's, it doesn't seem like that much. We have Tally, Thane, Garrus, Grunt, Morden, Jack, um, and Jacob. Like those are our... Uh, loyalty missions that we have to go do. So basically most of our companions. We have the Shadow Broker DLC and then we have the Collectors. It's like that, when you break the main missions down that way, you're like, oh, actually, that's not, nah, that's not a lot. The assignments, these are a little different. These are not going to take long. These are all fairly short. I could probably blow through about 10 of these in a single episode. But um, I need to do this one. So the Assassin Solarian Family Data. So I need to deliver the data. Where am I delivering the data? I don't know. Um, then there's also... Ooh, I think that's actually the only one that we have here. Possibly. I guess it doesn't matter much. I just have to go... Do my shopping. Is possible it's still here? What was it that Liara was having me do with data here? I have never called you that. I don't remember. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? Alright, let's... Go here. Try make it as SMG damage. Actually, that's pretty good. I forgot that, that there was SMG damage here. Damage protection. Yes. 40% bonus to shields, barriers, and armor. Oh my goodness. It's so good. But so is 50% SMG damage. That's really nice because we like our SMG quite a lot. I'm going to get it. It's it's an immediate upgrade. Ooh, that puts us at five of five. Not a fish, something that'll last. You'll make sure she keeps it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like that's the right choice because it gives us it gives us options. It gives us. Um, I didn't mean. Okay, look. I'll take another look at the contract. How do I want to put this? It gives us different weapon choices where I'm not just. Still can't believe you have a just a car in your service. Where I'm not just completely focused on the Your shotgun. Sure, I use the shotgun a lot. I know it's really good. We, we can all agree with that. From the systems are great for business. All of the chatter is really annoying. Some of them seem dangerous. That's so, the whole point. Danger means if I if I can swap out to the SMG more often, I think I'm going to be a little bit more versatile, which I think is going to be very helpful. But at the same time, having that extra shield bonus Excuse would be me. nice too. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh. You're the one she was helping out. She took a job off world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. She didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. <laughs> uh, listen. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him. I'll buy him a drink. Oh, this is Thane's thing. Gotcha. Okay. 
That's fine. Whatever. I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> I guess there's nothing else for me to do here. Uh, we can go hit up the other missions in this cluster, I suppose. And get those cleared out. Or I could go, I could go start up some of our loyalty missions. Actually, maybe that's not a bad idea either. Um, it's likely that by doing the loyalty missions... Oh, that's going up to Liara's place. By doing the loyalty missions, I may unlock a couple other side things that I have to do anyway, so... Uh, yeah, that may not be a bad idea, but I'm still kind of curious if there's any of the data still here that we need to get for Liara. I totally forgot if I completed that or not. But the fact that it's not in my in my journal means that I guess I completed it. Which is why she's interested in doing the, the DLC anyways at this point. Alright, let's go back to the Normandy. I kind of want to go do Grunt and Morden. Um, but at the same time, I really like tallies, <laughs> so maybe I go do hers. Ugh, it's a tough choice. The, the, the loyalty missions are by far some of the best content in Mass Effect 2. And you're, you really got to pick a little litter on these because I have some good ones all lined up. I, mm, da, da, da. let's see here. Where is hers? Disable guest device, save crashing ship. No, no. Where's the tally one? Do I not have it? Help, help tally. Oh, way out over here. All right, let's go do it. I like this one. It's, it's, it's mildly political as far as like, uh, oh, we, we actually haven't scanned this stuff because this is a new place that we haven't been to. <gasps> it's a miracle. <laughs> it is. All right. Well, all right. I guess I'll go scan it after I'm done with or will it, it should still be here. I'm assuming it will be. Ooh, now I'm kind of curious. I, th I think, I, th I don't think this is going to disappear like some of the other ones. I think this will still be here. All right, so we're going to take Tally, obviously. I kind of want to take Samara, honestly. She's a biotics. We have tech and biotics and we haven't, we haven't played with her yet. So I think we should take Samara. Although she may not like my choices here. Let's see what she's got. She's got throw pull. Sorry, Justicar and Reeve. Reeve is really good, but we need to do her mission to get that. Uh, let's go ahead and fully unlock throw. And I kind of like heavy throw. So it has much higher force, but it's only single target. I think that's fine. Um, let's put a single point into pull. Let's fully level up Justicar. Uh, what's this? Damage, oh, sorry, health, 20%. That's also 20%. Weapon damage, 18, as opposed to 25. Power recharge, 18, as opposed to minus 25. I think I'd rather her have her powers up more often, so we're going to take that. Okay, Tally doesn't have any points either. She's, she's like spec almost the exact same way, minus the, uh, the actual abilities themselves. Kind of funny. This is Tally Zora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship plagued the Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Hey, we just had this conversation. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. That's, that's kind of cool. I, I didn't remember that at all. Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I've never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and Harlem as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. Um, let's just ask why she's on trial. What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason, 
And the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Hmm. She goofed. All right, that's bad. Can I talk to him? You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. Right, that's fine. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a. If Tali Zora can't even get. <laughs> Kelly, everybody here has a has something to say. It's like, <laughs> like when we were just on Ilium there. Tali Zora vs Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron. Shepard vs. Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran vs. Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me vs. Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Interesting. I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. Oof, this may go bad. <laughs> so, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? This is a terrible idea. Tally, I'm not a lawyer. Hell, everyone thinks I'm part of Cerberus. Do you really think I can help you? They're trying to turn the crowd against me. That's why they changed my status to Vos Normandy. This whole trial is a farce. You underestimate us, Tally. Do not forget that you have friends as well as enemies. I delayed their attempt to try you in absentia. I convinced them to allow a human into our midst. You still have a chance. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. I've never seen this or done this in the sense of playing a renegade. So this is going to be weird. I don't um I don't remember if there's any renegade specific choices here, but uh I remember doing this as Paragon and being like, "Oh, I'm so bad. Like this is <laughs> this is not going well." We'll see how this goes. can't tell them apart. They all look exactly the same. Just different colors. Really hard to focus on one of them. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. The accused Talia Zora of us Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? So we know that guy is like our, he's against us, so that's going to be tough, but 
Uh, you know what? Let's do it. I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Yeah. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Oh, I love well that. Said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Okay, he's on our Tally, side. You're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. Oh, yes, uh, but I would never Claudia send Black. active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. Okay. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally. The Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. You just gonna drop Your that bomb? Included. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, Kila. Oh, that's not what I wanted to hit. You're telling me that one of your ships is controlled by the Geth, and you're sitting here holding a trial? The ship is disabled, Shepard. Our teams have tried to retake it without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshed it! <laughs> you intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. Uh... You think Tally's helping the Geth? Maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty. We do not accuse Tali of aiding the Geth cause. We accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tali. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Well, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Well, I'm... Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. I'm regretful that we didn't get to use the Renegade choice there, because I actually like that one better, but it's okay. I don't think it's going to matter too much for us. So, let's ask her some questions. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you. Even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I I don't know. He he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai... Kalizora is the pride of our fleet. Ah. We can't exile her. They just interrupted what I was talking about there. I don't know if I have to go this way or not, but I'm going to go look. I think maybe I do. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, so let's go back real quick. Um, I would like to talk with all those nerds and kind of see, oh, what the heck just happened? Why did they just drop that bomb? Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Quib Quib. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. Um. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. 
I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrons or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quib Quib. <laughs> I will not flee because of petty insults. All right, that's fine. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. Oh, I see his perspective now, and I do not disagree with him, but he's coming off a little harsh. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tally, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. Can you tell me anything about the LRI? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. That's okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Um, he came off a little aggro during the trial, but I do agree with him. I, th I think that the Corians made the guess who happened to be a sentient species now, even though they're AI and they kind of got to deal with that. They can't just try to wipe them out. They, they created them. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarol Vas Nima. So, you stole the Nima's best crew member. I suppose I'll allow it, given what you did to those geth at the Citadel. I take it you and Tally are acquainted. All the old guard knows Tally. Rail brought her to Admiralty board meetings when she was a little girl. It was one of the few times I got to see him. Hey now, your father didn't always show it, but he cared. He, he cares about you. You two were always too much alike to get along. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. His voice sounds really familiar, and I don't quite remember what he's been in. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> That's Rail for you. Okay, I got him. He was Loghain in Dragon Age Origins, which makes sense. Um, and he was in a bunch of World of Warcraft stuff, which is also why I recognize his voice. You gotta love IMDb. It's the best. Um, 
I think I'm basically just getting all the same information here. And I would rather... Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. I'd, I'd rather hit up maybe one or two of the others. And I then that a charging go do... Oh, no, I didn't want to talk to her. You oh, whatever. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Allery. That is oh, your I best see. chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Okay. Uh... Are the judges that set on finding her guilty? Anything involving the Geth is a live wire, Shepard. But there is still hope. And girls greatly respects both you and Tali Zora for stopping Saren. Admiral Chorus sees the whole thing as a war crime and wants to convict. I have no idea what Admiral Zen wants. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Yeah, I just want to go hit up the other person who was there. I think it's her. No, it's not her. That's a guy. It's the human can work him? out. I'll admit that much. No, it hurt. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Yeah, that's, uh... It, again, if you don't know the voice actress, it's Morgan from... Dragon Age. So, there you go. <laughs> also, uh, from Stargate SG-1. One of the best shows ever made. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not... Then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Oh, fine, whatever. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. And she's basically the same character. <laughs> it's like, do you do you want more again in Mass Effect? Well, they just they just put her in because that's literally the same attitude. And honestly, the same demeanor as well. So it's uh. It is what it is. Fine. We'll, we'll go save her father, and then everybody will be like, ooh, you guys did it, and you weren't actually messing with guests, and ah, uh, she's innocent. At least that's how I see it going.